Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we're actually back with the half-track build. Now, the previous video hasn't already gone out, so I have no idea what you guys think of this thing. But I'm a little bit too excited, and I really want to get an engine in this thing, so that is what we're going to do today. We're going to add an engine to this little compartment right here. Um, it should hopefully look quite nice, and also be able to power... Uh, the rear sprocket if we can. I, I think that's how it's gonna work anyway. So, let's go ahead and start building an engine. Hey! Alright, so let's go ahead and do this really quickly. We're gonna shove, uh, actually let's just type in engine first. We're gonna shove a bunch of crankshafts in here like this. Can I drag them? I can. Uh, I don't know how much of this is actually going to be engine, by the way, but uh, I'm sure that's fine. On the rear, we're going to go with a clutch, obviously. On the front, I think we can put a flywheel straight on there. I've never actually done it, though. So, um, we could try, I guess? So, if you look at this, a modular engine uh, crankshaft flywheel. The crankshaft is the core of the engine. A flywheel piece sits as part of the crankshaft and acts as a momentum energy store for a running engine but also makes the engine harder to start. So what it does is gives it sort of momentum when it goes, when it wants to start, uh, and that's kind of what we need, so that's okay. On the front of there, we're gonna go ahead and get one of these, and shove it on there, and I think we're gonna need two starters, at least, uh, in order to run one of these. So, I guess, let's do that. Also, we're using the bigger one. There we go, that's what we need. <laughs> hey, nice. Um, so yeah, we just need some of the smaller starters. Uh, we are gonna go with one alternator. There we go, so one alternator and two starters. Excellent, might even go with three. Let's go with three starters, bosh. Um, so there we go, that is the start of our engine. From there, we're gonna go ahead and add some cylinders. So let's go ahead and do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's 15 cylinders so far, and I think that's probably enough. So, uh, let's go ahead and attach these guys together. I want it to sort of look nice, if I can. So we're going to take these guys, uh, I'm going to take them in, I guess, a different color. I'm going to go with like a gray. I'm going to shove those onto there like that, so that it looks like an actual engine. Cool. Okay, from there, we're gonna go ahead and pump the exhaust out of the sides of this thing, just like this. And I think I'm gonna do it on the first one. There we go. And on the second, and on the third. There we go. We'll then go straight into pipes. And I think we'll attach all of these guys together. Kinda like this. And we'll have that pipe out the side. It'll have side exit exhaust. I think that's fine. So, let's go ahead and send that bit backwards. Actually, let's send it down. We can just have it come out underneath. That'll be fine. So let's do this down underneath, have it sent out this way, and I don't know, I guess we just do a straight pipe to begin with, like this, um, and then we're gonna grab one of these, have it turn backwards, there we go, and we'll have a few exit, exits, because I think that'd be kind of cool. So let's just go ahead and shove these on here like this, get ourselves a fluid exit, uh, and just allow them all out. I don't know whether a fluid nozzle actually allows that to happen, but maybe. All right, I don't know if it does. It says that it, it, it fires water, so let's not use that, just in case uh, it doesn't actually work. Uh, but what we can use instead is probably an air ram, so delete each of these and shove this onto here, like this. One, two, and three. Nice. Okay, so this is what it currently looks like. We've got our exhaust on the bottom, we have our 15 cylinders wrapped around, we have our flywheel, our starter, our other starter, and an alternator on the top. Um, I do think I'm gonna go with a 3x3 three three, uh, heat exchange, thinking of Bobby on the front, like a radiator, and then we're gonna have to sort out the fuel as well. Okay, so the radiator first. So let's go with one of these guys. There we go. And I should be able to shove it on there just like that. I don't know whether we should raise it up, lower it down, or leave it where it is. Uh, but I think where it is is fine. Okay, I'm also thinking uh, I want to move some of these guys forwards. So I'm actually going to grab all of this. I'm going to cut it. We're going to move it forwards by one. There we go. 
And we're going to go ahead and attach it with another crankshaft. There you go. If you're wondering why I'm going to do that, it's so that we can actually do the rest of the engine stuff. Uh, essentially, the coolant thing is annoying, the way that it is shaped. But, um, yeah, we're going to use it. So, we're going to put it where it is right now. Let's go ahead and have it go out the side. There we go. Have it go... We can't really have them both go around the outside because it doesn't doesn't fit. <laughs> it doesn't fit, uh, which is annoying. But what we can do is actually have this one go this way. There we go. All right, yeah. No, this is actually fine. So we'll have this get sent across, just like so. We'll then have it go forwards from here. And yeah, that's okay. I don't know whether I should add a pump into here just yet either. Um, but maybe eventually. Yeah. I'm going to delete these guys too, and we're going to have this go straight into a straight pipe. Just like one of these. Uh, we'll have it go there, and I should actually probably do this on both sides. So, do this. There we go. Very nice. Uh, have it go into an angled piece, going this way. Oh, not that way. That way, there we go. And then from there, we can just do this. Bosh. Hey, nice. So that is pretty much our coolant done, except we do need a pump for it. And we have a perfect place for a pump right there. Doesn't matter which way around it is, we'll just leave it. Cool. Okay, so for an engine, there are two more things. Uh, there are air and there is fuel. So uh, let's try and sort both of those out. We're going to go with the fuel one first. So if we type in engine, uh, let's go ahead and... oh. Well, the air one is the one that's actually appeared first. We can actually just shove that right here like this for right now. That's okay. Uh, we're then going to go to the fuel one, which is somewhere in here. For some reason, I can never see it. There it is. Uh, and we're going to shove that right here like this. The fuel line is going to go right down the center through to the back, and the uh, fuel tank is going to be back here. All right, so uh, send it. Here we go. Let's grab one of these guys and send it through to there. There we go. Good. Send it through once more. Actually, delete that piece right there. Get ourselves a fluid port. Shove it directly onto that. Yes, just like so. And then barrier everything off. Because this is where our fuel tank is going to be. So, uh, if we do this to begin with. There we go. Uh, and then we can try and sort out everything else by using these guys. Uh, in fact, I can probably get away with just using this. There we go. Uh, fuel tank isn't going to be massive, so actually, let's just send it from there backwards to about here. Do it on both sides, obviously. There we go. And we'll seal it off on this side like this. There we go. Alright, you know what? I think that's fine. Uh, on the underside, of course, we do need to seal that as well. So I'm going to try and do that via using these guys as well. There we go. Uh, and we just need to box that off. There, yeah, nice. Okay, fuel tank has been built. Beautiful. Okay, so, uh, what else do we need? We need a meter, and we also need a spawner, uh, so that we can actually drive and use this. And that's it. There you go. Fuel tank is in, engine is in, air supply, we just need to shove an... I guess one of these, or a filter, or whatever, on there. Um, and then we need to test it. All right, so we're going to take the microcontroller that we use on literally everything, uh, and we are going to shove that in the back right here like this, uh, and we'll just shove it right there. That is mighty fine. So let's go ahead and connect all of these guys together. We have our fuel throttle that is down there. We have our air throttle that is on the top. We have our starters. Those guys are right here. Starter, starter, and starter. Excellent. And then we need to connect an actual throttle output our RPS can go to that, and we need a key, so put it on one, there you go, and the throttle is going to be on up and down. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and go to up and down and make that sticky. There we go. And I guess now we can actually start this, maybe. Okay, should be started. And now if I throttle up... Yeah, it actually totally works! That is fantastic, yes! That is actually really good, the engine is working. Uh, 77% efficiency, not the best, but also not terrible. Uh, and that is fine. Yeah. Alright, cool. Um, one thing that I will do is actually attach this. Oh, you know what? This is bad. This is bad. I need to delete whatever this is. And I need to actually send a pipe through here, which is terrifying. Uh, but yeah, let's go and attach that onto there. 
We'll then send this through, and then on this side, we're going to need to block that guy off at the top, and do this. Yeah, uh, just so that we can attach it to the sprocket, which is here. So, uh, pipe this up straight away. Let's use this guy. There we go. And then we're going to move it forwards, and that should be fine. Let's send these guys together. Oh, I need to do it on both sides. I keep forgetting to mirror things. It's really frustrating. Uh, delete that. Grab this guy. Shove it on there like that. Good. And then send these guys together. Just like this. And send it forwards. So the reason we're not going to go with tank steering is because this is a half track. It should be steered by the front wheels. So that's why we're doing it this way. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and attach A and D to the steering on this side. And on the other side, we'll have an inverter. And we'll have it steer through that, which, again, I guess, is fine. All right, let's shove this here, just for now. There we go. Attach this guy to there, attach this up to here. And we should actually be able to drive this thing now. At least kind of, anyway. Maybe. Um, throttle. Right, we do actually need a throttle lever. I'm going to go ahead and put it here. For now, there we go. This is actually going to go ahead and control that, and then the up and down is going to control the clutch. There we go. All right, I think that's it. I think we're actually ready to, um, to drive this thing. That's crazy. Steering is inverted. I thought it would be. Let's go ahead and start the engine. Oh. Oh, this time it doesn't want to start. Is that because I don't have a spawner, actually? I think that's probably the reason. <laughs> we don't have any fuel. All right, here we go. Go to the inside, delete this guy, shove this here like this, and go again. This time I think we're going to be good. Yeah, nice! All right, cool, let's go forwards. Okay, we did stall it, but that's because we don't have any gearboxes or anything. And it sort of totally drives. That's awesome! Okay, so I am almost dying, but this thing is actually on the move. Uh, one thing I might do is put some uh, catalytic converters on this thing, so it works a little bit better. But honestly, overall, uh, it drives quite nicely, which is awesome. Uh, and it works, which is the main thing. So, for episode two, we are going to end this one here. Thank you guys again for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next one, where we might actually get a cab on this. We'll see. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Goodbye.